lacquerware decorated with designs formed in powdered gold or silver. Objects like this are widely used in Japan, from everyday tableware to precious utensils reserved for the tea ceremony. Today we introduce this gorgeous traditional craft known as makie. Over the centuries, Japanese lacquer workers developed lavish styles of decoration using powdered gold and silver to adorn their wear. This technique, known as makie, is quite unique to Japan. The first step is to trace the design motifs with lacquer onto the surface of the lacquered vessel. Then gold powder is carefully sprinkled onto the design so it adheres to the fresh lacquer. Hence the name. Makie literally means sprinkled picture. Looking at how makie is produced, there are three basic techniques. The method known as hira, or flat makie, was developed from around 1,000 years ago. The design is first traced with lacquer, and then gold powder is scattered onto it. The technique is used to create gradations of density in the shading. A second technique is togi dashi makie. A coat of lacquer is applied over a design in gold powder. The surface is then smoothed down with charcoal. Because this creates a completely flat surface, this method is used when making trays. The third basic technique is known as Taka makie, literally raised makie. The gold powder is sprinkled onto a thick layer of resin which creates a raised pattern. The three-dimensional effect adds a new depth of beauty to the gold's luster. This lavish style of decoration was especially popular among the nobility. The techniques for makie have been known for over a thousand years. This casket dates from the Heian period, around 1,000 years ago. The design motif known as Genji Guruma represents cartwheels submerged in flowing water. In the old days, the wheels of ox carts had to be soaked in water to prevent them from drying out and cracking. This elegant design depicts a scene from ancient Kyoto. For the Heian nobility, owning a gorgeous piece of makie lacquer would have been considered a status symbol. This makie screen, decorated with Christian motifs, was made for a European missionary during the late 16th century. During this period, craftsmen also began to incorporate European design motifs. The refined combination of black and gold proved popular with Europeans. This is a writing box decorated by the renowned late 17th century artist Ogata Korin. Makie is used to depict a scene inspired by an ancient literary work called The Tales of Ise. Iris flowers can be seen on the lid, with petals formed from mother of pearl. It is intended to evoke a scene in which a man who has been exiled from Kyoto and has set out on a journey sees Iris is blooming by a bridge. This makes him think of his wife, who he has had to leave behind. The design continues on the inner surface of the box. When the lid is removed, along with the ink stone inside, a pattern of running water in Makie becomes visible, suggesting the river flowing underneath the bridge. Taking advantage of the box's structure, this scene from the Tales of Ise is given a dramatic three-dimensional form. This writing box is often considered to be the ultimate example of Makie craftsmanship. Each of the elaborate motifs adorning makie pieces has a deep significance. Even small everyday items may depict scenes from literature or reflect people's innermost hopes and prayers. 